Ah, uh, Pandemonium. I love this map. Uh, not for the level design or anything like that, uh, although it is a cool level. I do like the level design. Uh, uh, but because of the music. Uh, the music is actually a direct ripoff of a Slayer song. Uh, I believe No Mercy, I want to say is the name of it. Um, but it's it, probably my favorite theme in Doom. Well, aside from the Diz theme, anyway. The Episode 3 Map 8 theme, the boss theme. It's also another favorite of mine. particular order in which you're supposed to do things up here, and I forget which... It's gone. It's okay. Not so good. Um... Uh, let's see. Yeah. Come in here, grab this stuff. Get back on the elevator. Come over here. Go over here, grab the big giant cell pack, which is awesome. Somewhere there's the BFG. Of course, the classic BFG 9000. I'm not going to use it on this guy because it would be a tragic, tragic waste of ammo. Uh, and then over here, there's actually a Soul Sphere. Uh, come grab that shotgun. Get over here. Now, over here. now, that guy down there, as you may have just heard his activate noise, not a waste. Although I missed. Which I didn't actually miss because the way BFG works. I could write a whole paper on the way the BFG works. I'm sure someone else has already done that, though. <laughs> the way the BFG actually works is that it shoots the little ball, which does an enormous amount of damage. Um, but then also, it fires out like 20 traces in front of you uh, in a cone, and they're kind of semi-randomly placed. Um, and those tracers also do damage. Uh, and this gives them the ability to simulate having a big area effect attack without uh, having a chance of killing yourself. It's kind of a hack, I suppose. Because uh, the BFG doesn't actually can never damage you. Unless you were to, like, shoot it and then run in front of the shot or something. I'm pretty sure you could hit yourself. But I don't think the BFG travels slow enough for you to do that without using turbo mode. I used to play in turbo mode a lot. Uh, and then I realized that it was basically cheating, so I stopped doing that. This is really before games started aggressively punishing their players for cheating. Which is, which is pretty much the norm these days. And I'm glad. I don't, I don't approve of cheating. Um, I actually used to uh, more or less run a GameStop store. And uh, uh, the, we'd all, these time, all the time have these kids come in, little kids, looking for the... the DS and Game Boy Pro Action replays, and it used to just drive me up the wall, because, I mean, I don't know, it, to me, maybe this is just me being an old fart, but to me, if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna cheat in a game, you shouldn't cheat in a game that you can't beat otherwise. Uh, it's like an admission of failure, and to me, when parents let little kids do it, you know, it's, it's just reinforcing bad behavior, it's just basically saying it's okay to cheat, you know, to get whatever you want. But I don't know. Probably I'm being too judgmental. I'm bad about that. Some might say it's my worst character flaw. I might say that. It's too quick to choose, though. There's so many. <laughs> this map is a jerk because if you fall down there, you can't actually get out. Um, I think that may have been rectified later, or maybe it was. Maybe I'm remembering that you can get out by jumping in the newer, newer source boards. But in old school Doom, I'm pretty sure you could get out, um, and that sucks because you just had to either quit the game or start your level over because there was no, you know, kill yourself code. I 
I suppose you could load a save you had. If you had one. I'm terrible about saving, though. I don't ever save. I really should. Okay. Alright, you are a problem. Now, see, this is funny because... The original Doom, as I mentioned before, had auto-aiming vertically. And if you can see that guy, those guys down there, it would actually aim down there at them instead of at the guy in front of you. So you'd be ineffectually shooting them, which is kind of annoying. So that's not at all how I meant to do that, but whatever. I'm just going to punch those guys. With my bezik. Um, I don't remember what that switch did. Yeah, it's a switch. I'll hit it. Whistle. Probably should stop trying if I can't do it. Okay. And then here. Hey now. It's not very nice. I'll punch you into pieces. I can't, however, punch their souls out. It's okay though. I wish I could actually punch people into pieces. I feel like I can get things done. why I know basically every secret in Doom. Uh, I think I've killed everything. Oh, you know, I actually have a kills and secrets counter down on the bottom left. I just now noticed. There you go. But anyway, this this theme here actually was used for the uh, Episode 2 Map 2 music community, you didn't notice. This is the intermission theme, um, which itself it itself is actually copied from a, another metal song. I forget which song. But anyway, um, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, of course, as always, I appreciate subscriptions. Uh, if you'd like, you don't have to, of course. Um, see you next video.